Hello everybody, my name is Chara, and this is the Plan of Crafter, another episode of my Let's Play. So, I did a little inventory organization, uh, so we got food and food seeds in here. We got basics, that's anything that's just on the ground, like everywhere, like planet wide. You got your ice, your iron, magnesium, titanium, silicon, and cobalt. Um, here, I'm calling this tier 2 stuff. Actually, I can take this blooper new. Your iridium, your aluminum, your super alloy, uranium. I know the game doesn't call them tier two, but that's what I'm calling them because they're, you know, one step up from the basics. Then we got seeds in here. Uh, I just got all my fabric in here and miscellaneous stuff in here. And I got an empty one. Um, I was thinking about doing a pod just for heaters, like somebody suggested a couple comments ago, but somebody mentioned the tier four heater, which I am a ways away from, but... It is uh, um, able to be placed outside. So I'm probably not going to make a pod for heaters. I mean, I might. It looks like I unlocked the biodome, which it itself uses up energy. But I feel like I need to expand my energy a bit. So I'd like to get a nuclear reactor. So the nuclear reactor needs three super alloy, water, and a uranium rod. I have a uranium rod. How much super alloy do I have? One, two, three. Would you look at that? Um, so let's just go grab some ice, make water, and I'm going to have some uranium or a uranium power plant, I guess, more specifically, which I did not think this would, it would be that easy. But here we are. Beautiful. All right, well, I might as well grab a few ice while we're out here. Actually, I probably should have checked my basics chest. I might have just, <laughs> there might have been some in there. That's okay. That's not the end of the world. This, this generates a lot of power, right? So this will be good. So water. Is there a way to do more than one at a time, I wonder? Oh, if you hold... Holding left control, you don't come out of the screen, at least. Which is a step up. Alright, so let's put the uranium plant just over here. Yeah, 86 and a half power. That's a lot of power. And I just got an achievement for that. What could go wrong? <laughs> what are the achievements called? All right, so we have... Oh, yeah. We're using less than half of our power. So we can easily put the uh, a biodome in here. Oh, it generates oxygen by itself? You don't even need plants in there? Or is it... Okay, so I, I want to build this in just so I can see... Um, yeah, we are, oxygen is what we're behind on, but we were kind of waiting to get this biodome. All right, so I'm going to need some frames to put this on, probably. Probably really expensive to make, too, now that I think about it. Biodome. All right, so seed worm, I'm pretty sure we have that. Okay, so super alloy is going to be the hard thing. Obviously, titanium and cobalt are nothing. Pretty sure I have seed worm as um, aluminum is not a big deal, but three super alloy. I just used all my super alloy, right? I'm pretty sure. But we can make super alloy, right? Just need to, yeah. Might have to go on an aluminum trip here over to the uh, to that area over there. For now, let's get some frames down so that we can get the biodome. So can I hold control here to build more than one too, I think, right? That's what I did last time. Yes. Not sure exactly how many. We need six, four, nine. Um, yeah, all right, so let's go on a little aluminum hunt over to the, uh, the aluminum fields, I guess we'll call this, the aluminum spires, maybe. Anyway, this little, this area over here, <laughs> where aluminum can be found on the ground, because I'm going to need some. Or, oh, I, I, mm, all right, so let's do this. I, I want to, there is a cave over there that had super alloy in it, um, and there could be more, like, there was super alloy just on the ground. And I was over there and I picked some up, but my inventory filled up, so I left. But, I mean, that cave could be huge. There could be a whole bunch more, in theory, potentially. Um, could be a, a ton more aluminum over there. I do have food and water on me, right? Yes. Oh, I should probably see what's on that microchip, too. All right, so, aluminum, where art thou? Of course, there's no... When I was going through here earlier, when I was full... <laughs> There was aluminum everywhere. Oh, there we go. Guess I just had to complain about it a little bit. And there we go. 
So I'll just pick up what I see here. Muzzle head towards my little pod over there so I can refill my oxygen. Is there anything in this chest? There's aluminum. <laughs> take it. I'll take it. The free aluminum. I should probably take the free iron too, but yeah. Space is limited. Ah, you know what? I take that back. You can never have too much iron. It seems. I'm assuming at some point, you know, you have enough iron. I don't think I'm quite there yet, though. All right, so there's another aluminum. How much do we have? That's five aluminum. That's probably enough. All right, more than likely. I have a feeling I have not gotten this chest before. Yeah, maybe I did. Yeah, well, we'll pick it clean. Pick it clean and deconstruct the crate. Give me a little extra. Extra iron. Ooh, a work extractor. I can make a work extractor now. That's nice. Um, all right, so let's take the aluminum. Let's take the food. Actually, I can take almost everything. Not quite everything. All right, let's, uh, let's eat some food here. Eat some food, drink some water. That frees up a couple of inventory slots. Now I can take everything and break this down. Perfect. All right, let's head home. Okay, I really want the ore extractor, but first I want to get the biodome, right? Like, priorities. Got to do this. <laughs> I can't... Uh, aluminum. Mm. Yeah, that's... Uh, I'll, I'll be back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be coming back for aluminum at some point. I'm quite sure that I will need more. Right? Like, aluminum's like iron. You can never have enough of it. So this aluminum will allow me to make super alloy, right? Or I could go over to the cave and look for super alloy. And that way I have the aluminum for other things. I'm trying to think. Yeah, maybe we will. Maybe I will go over to that cave. Maybe I'll just dunk the stuff in storage. Um, yeah, well, I'll build, I'll build a few more frames. I'll, I'll build to have a, a three by three area here. I, the biodome probably only needs like two by two. Uh, but these are like, like they're they're a bit bigger. Like I feel like this should be the same size as this, right? Am I crazy in thinking that? It's, I don't know. That's what it seems like to me anyway. But what do I know? All right. Okay. There. We got that down. So let's throw a bunch of this stuff in storage. Refill my oxygen. <laughs> Basics. So iron, cobalt, silicon. All that good stuff in there. Let's uh, see what the blooper microchip has. Torch tier two. I guess that just gives more light. All right, so put some aluminum in there. We're pretty much full. Yeah, I might as well fill right up. Okay, so I have one water bottle on me. Let's take this ice. Let's turn this ice into a water bottle, shall we? There we go. All right, let's see if we can find this cave again. Super alloy. So if we go past this cave entrance around further like this cave has iridium in it which I haven't needed iridium like I mean I've used iridium but I've never I've always had a supply of iridium right I've never run out of it I've never had to go back in here looking for iridium now that doesn't mean I never will and ooh, so that I think oh I forgot to way back in the starting area up on the hill, there's a ship. There's a cave over there. Um, it's blocked by ice. So we got to get the heat to a certain point. And then the ice melts. And then we'll have that cave. I got to remember that that cave is over there. I might have to go check later to see like what what heat level we need to get to for that. All right. So I'm going to pick up this iron because, you know, you never have too much iron. And silicon is somewhat rare. Whereas, you know, magnesium, ice... Titanium. Those are not rare. Alright, so somewhere along here there's a little cave that had super alloy in it. And I didn't fully explore it. And maybe, maybe I, well, maybe I did fully explore it. Maybe there isn't any super alloy left. But I'm, I want to find out. Like, I don't, I don't think stuff respawns in this game. 
And if or if it does, it takes a really long time for it to respawn. Where's the cave entrance? Uh, is that over there? It was right here because it wasn't like I came from the ship right here. Well, this isn't a cave. <laughs> This is a canyon. Uh, I feel like this is not it. How come I haven't seen this before, though? Where does this go? Where? Where am I? <laughs> oh, this is... Uh, I'll have to come back to explore here later. I feel like that just leads back around to where I started. Right? Wouldn't it? No, I want to find this cave though. How many oxygen capsules do I have? Three. Okay, so I got all kinds of oxygen. Should be fine there. I don't think I need to build a little pod. So where's that cave entrance? So obviously, it's not uh, it's not the same cave network as the iridium cave. Clearly, right? <laughs> if it was, unless it goes like underground, or did I did I imagine this cave? <laughs> With super alloy in it. Maybe it's further. No, it'd be... Okay, this is it. This is it, right? I think. Turn the old flashlight on. I think, yeah, this was it. All right. Is there any super alloy left is the question. Um. Yeah, let's take all that. Sure. Oxygen level low. Oxygen level's really low. Uh, maybe I did get it all. Oh, no. Here's some. Okay. Perfect. Was this worth the trip? Was it necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Get the deconstruct tool out to see if any of these walls are fake. Uh, that doesn't really look like... Okay, so I just got an achievement. The achievement is a door? Question mark? You can't... You can't deconstruct it. Okay, so, hmm. <laughs> hmm. No spoilers in the comments, but, hmm. I'm assuming we'll have to come back at some point and open this somehow. I'm going to assume we got to terraform more, though, first. Yeah, but, I mean, that's me making an assumption, which is dangerous. How full am I? Yeah, I still got some space. Wait, that's just the door again. <laughs> All right, so I feel like... We've mostly covered everything in here. Oh, there's our chest over there. Super alloy here. Yeah, this was definitely worth the trip. Just for the super alloy. And, you know, finding the door is cool. And now let's take the bean seed. Let's take the seed learn. Let's take the aluminum. And then let's try to find my way out of here. I think this is the entrance. I believe, yep. And you know, there still might be more stuff in there. I might not have fully explored it, but I mean, I got what? Eight super alloy? Call them that worth, for sure. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go home. Although uh, there's a part of me that wants to explore over there. I've done quite a bit of exploring this video in the last, well, like, I just don't understand where it leads. Like, it's got to be a dead end, right? Either that or it leads to, like... I'm thinking, you know, okay, so... Alright, so this... What I talked about a few minutes ago, the cave that was blocked by ice. Like, if it's a tunnel, it would come out up there, maybe? I feel. I'm trying to remember if when I, like, went to the ice... Trying to remember if it told me what amount of heat I needed or if it just said increase the heat. I forget. There's a part of me that wants to go over there and check. But before I do that, I want to get the biodome down. I want to see what the, uh, the ore extractors cost. Um, there's ice in here, actually. I'm going to need oxygen soon. Do I have oxygen? Right? Wasn't there another ice wall in here? There is iridium in here if I need it. 
It's hard to see once you're actually in here. Yeah, right there. Two. Grab that. <laughs> That's good to know, though. There is aluminum in here. All right, so this ice. There was a pop up. All right, starts melting at a hundred NK. I feel like it's. It kind of looks like it's melting already. All right, let's head back. All kinds of aluminum and iridium in here, which is good to know. Um, take the uranium, I guess. Uranium's by far the most rare thing in there. All right, I believe I just need to go straight out this way. It's hard to see, but I'm pretty sure this is the entrance. If I remember from when I died in here, <laughs> in one of the very early episodes. Yeah, okay, just as I suspected. Getting low on water again, but that is fine. All right, so we'll do a little inventory shenanigans here. Get the biodome down. And mm, should probably start filling it. With Vegetube Tier 3s. What do Vegetube Tier 3s need? Um, water bottles, silicon, silicon. Oh, nothing. Oh, these can be placed outside. Oh, well, why do I need the biodome then? Or maybe I don't need it. All right, can I build the biodome right now? I need titanium and cobalt. All right, so, oh yeah, this is full. <laughs> um, maybe I should have like one for. Just aluminum? Yeah, I don't know. Not that I have a lot of aluminum on me right now. Basic stuff in the basics chest here. And let's grab some aluminum out of here to put in the aluminum chest. Put all but three super alloy back. Uranium can go in here as well. All right, there we go. Now we're good. Sounds like a meteor shower outside. Sounds like a violent meteor shower out meteor shower outside. Wait. Oh, this is full of stuff. Crap. This one is already full of junk. I guess I didn't quite <laughs> do enough when I was. Whoops. Um. Okay. So I need to drink a water bottle. And then I need to. Take out these seeds. Put aluminum in. This is supposed to be the aluminum chest. I don't know if I'm going to have room for all these seeds. <laughs> right? Like, this is a lot of seeds. Yeah. Be close. All right, so I got to keep one seed lerma on me. Okay, you know, we had, we had room. All right, so. Iodo. Seed lerma, aluminum, I need two cobalt, two titanium. Now let's go outside for that. Yeah, okay, so can the biodome just go anywhere? I guess uh, we'll put it there, whatever, it is what it is. I misunderstood it somewhat how it worked. Eh, I can't turn down iron. I need cobalt, so we need one more cobalt, two titanium, which shouldn't be hard to find. Cobalt certainly isn't. There's one titanium, there's two. Easy peasy. Yeah, and maybe I'm too focused on having, like, a centralized base. Maybe I should just be plopping stuff down wherever, right? Like, this whole, like, doesn't all need to be together, right? Power works, whatever. Like, these drills don't need to be here. They could be anywhere, literally, on the planet, right? But uh, I probably just need to be outside to place this, now that I think about it. Oh, flash screen for a sec. All right, cool. Biodome. Yeah, oh. It comes with... Wait, does it come with tubes? No, I can't put seeds in there. Can I? Oh, wait, so this is like a whole... Okay, so we definitely need this. This is a whole other thing. Biolab, algae generator, plants, oh my god, this is a whole... 
Wait, how do I get back to where it was? So how do I unlock this stuff? How do I get this stuff started? Can't place anything in here. Hmm. All right, well, you know what? We'll worry about that a little later. Right now, we need biomass. So how do we get biomass? I'm assuming there's something over here for biomass. It's this, ooh, launch platform, atmospheric water collector, backpack, lake water collector, screen biomass. Hmm. Ooh, grass spreader? Oh, there we go. Grass spreader. Grows grass outside, generates biomass. So we need more oxygen, but we just greatly increased our oxygen, right? Um, production. Um, so now, or extracted, right? What's the plan? All right, they use quite a bit of power, but they generate heat and pressure. So it's like a drill that also gives ore. So they're pretty amazing. Oh, we need osmium and iridium rods and super alloy and aluminum titanium. All right, so I am going to have to go find some osmium. I have not found any osmium. Right? All right, so what was my heat at? 162. I forget what the ice wall said. All right, so remember, Lutz, your heat's at 162. 162, believe it or not, should be an easy number for me to remember. Anybody who's a baseball fan, 162 games in a season, right? That's how I'm remembering it. All right, so let's go look at this ice wall up here. Let's see when this one starts melting. I think it said 225, maybe. I want to say 225. Okay, it starts melting. But, like, I don't. I'm not sure. But I got to find... I'm going to have to do some exploring. Um... If people want to leave, like, if people know where Osmium is, if you want to, like, leave me hints in the comments, that's okay. Just don't, like, like a general direction. Like, you know, you know, roughly southwest, that's fine. But don't, like, tell me specifically where to go. That kind of ruins it. All right, I feel like I probably have enough iron for a bit now. For a change. I'm not sure I need to be picking up iron anymore. Do I have any food on me? <laughs> Did I? Well, I guess I just left that stuff there the whole time. All right, so it should be right up here, I believe, the cave I'm thinking of. I'm going to assume, if I'm right, it's like 225. I think that's what the other wall said that I just checked five minutes ago, but I forget already because I'm a genius. Um, oh, there we go. We got the grass spreader. All right, so it says 100. Okay, so it's already started to melt then, because we're at 162. Yes, you can see it has definitely started to melt. Wait, is that... That kind of looks like osmium to me. Doesn't it? I mean, that's new. And it's like... like if you look at it, the, uh, the osmium here, right? Like, look at the picture there. And look at... Yeah, okay, so that's osmium. All right, so this is where we need to go for osmium. Now the question is, is this is the other entrance to this? Like is that where I looked earlier? Like is that the same cave? Or tunnel, I guess it would kind of be. I don't know. Like I'm kind of just talking out loud. As one does when they make YouTube videos. They just talk out loud. I find it's funny, I I in real life, I talk to myself more often. Like when I play board games, I like I, I I sometimes I just talk about everything I'm doing like oh and people are like what are you doing man why you we don't need the, the your inner monologue right you know <laughs> and I'm like yeah sorry board games are too close to video games I think I'm making a let's play right now apparently all right but we gotta just wait for it to melt right we gotta play the waiting game somewhat and then hopefully we can get some osmium make some more extractors so in the meantime well, in the meantime, I need to get in there and get some oxygen. Um, but probably want to get some grass spreaders, right? I would say. What do grass spreaders need? 
Oh, it's just water bottles, seed lermas, and magnesium. You can also make a shredder. No, that means osmium. Awesome. We can make a recycling machine. Breaks down objects into their core components. Okay. But you know what? Uh, we're at the 25 minute mark, so all that is going to be in the next episode. Thank you for checking this one out. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Subscribe if you hadn't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.